decluttering, organizing, and keeping track of your stuff. And here's how to do it as an ADHD beginner. Now, the first thing is a landing pad. Now, what this is, is a place to where you come into your home or your apartment. You put just certain things there, keys, phone, wallet, whatever else you want to put there. Now, you can have it anywhere in your home that you want to, but I say probably have it by the door, have it by some place to where you walk by every day, because then you'll know exactly where it is. And what you do is you put, you know, a bowl there or just a a pad, even a mouse pad is good there. It's just so that you know that place is designated as your landing pad. And the reason it's called a landing pad because you come in and you kind of land things on the pad there in that area there. So it's a really good idea because of the fact that you always know where your keys, your phone, your wallet should be. And if you don't need it for that stuff, but need it for something else and also use it for that. But you're gonna have a place to where if you're sitting across the room or you're in another room, and you're like, where is this stuff? It should be on your landing pad. So you can go and look there first and probably find it there if you're using it. Now, the other thing this will do for you is you'll get into the routine of actually using it. So you'll get into the routine as you come into the door, you know, come into your apartment or your house, you'll put it right there. And every day you'll start doing the same thing. And then eventually you won't even have to think about it, right? You'll just come in, put, up, put it there. And then you know that it's automatically gonna be there. Now, when you first start using a landing pad, it may take you a little bit to get used to it because you aren't used to coming in and putting things in this one place. But as you do it more, then you will get used to it and you'll just do it automatically. And then it's gonna be a lot easier for you. And then it's gonna give you the greatest benefit. And you should try to do this next thing, which is declutter every day. And the reason is because if you declutter every day, you just do a little bit at a time and then you don't have a huge day that you have to go and declutter everything. So when I say declutter every day, I'm not talking about an hour, two hours. I'm talking about 10 minutes, five minutes, just a little bit every day. Just go around your house or your apartment and then figure out, is there anything that I can get rid of? Is there anything that I've put aside to declutter and I haven't done it yet? This is a time to go ahead and do that or get it to your door, to your car, and just whatever you have to go through in the clutter that you just know that you don't need and you can do it whenever you want to, morning time, nighttime, lunchtime, whichever is best for you. But just take 10 minutes or five minutes at that time to go around and declutter some. And if you're like, this is so boring, then go ahead and gamify it. Just see how much you can do in a certain amount of time and then just time yourself or put a timer on, you know, two minutes. See how much I can go through and get everything and how much I can declutter in that time. And then if you want to, you can go against yourself the next day and see if you can do it faster and see how much you can do then. And so then you have a goal and then you have something to make it a little like competition for you. Now you can also put some music on that may help too. If you're trying to go through and declutter things because it sometimes gets boring and you're just like, okay, I know I've got 10 minutes or five minutes to do this, but to make it just a little more enjoyable, then go ahead and put some music on. And that can be a really good thing as well to help you get through the five minutes or 10 minutes of decluttering that you are going to do. And here's something super powerful for ADHD is using labels and using sticky notes. Now, why? Because of the fact that they help to remind you to where you don't have to really think about it. Because if you go to some place and try to go there and think about, okay, is this here? Does this belong here? Where did I put it? What was the last place I saw it? You're going to have to do that all in your mind trying to sit there. And that's really hard when you have ADHD. And the reason is because you deal with a working memory deficit. Working memory is kind of like the RAM you have in your computer. You do run out of it. And if you ever seen the point where you run out of RAM on your computer, it just freezes and you can't do anything. And that little circle that's going around like it's thinking, that's because you don't have enough RAM on your computer for all the different things you're trying to do. And so with ADHD, it works the same way with your brain because of the fact there's only so many things that we can take in at once and try to figure out something. So that's why labels and sticky notes are super powerful for you because now you can take all that stuff you're trying to remember and put it on a label or put it on a sticky note and put it to wherever you need to put it to help you to remember things. It could be on your mirror, on your computer. If you want to have it where your landing pad is, that's good as well. Anywhere where you need to remember something, go ahead and use one because it's gonna make just life easier for you instead of having to try to go through and think about all the things you try to think about and avoid the distractions of everything else. So they're really powerful when you have ADHD because they kind of solve this problem 
and they're gonna help you organize your home a lot easier and a lot faster and a lot better. And by the way, I do have videos on labels and sticky notes and it goes more in depth than everything. So those are my channel. You can go and check those out. Now the next thing is amazing for ADHD. It's called a tile. Now what you do is you actually attach it to whatever you need to make sure that you keep track of or find later. And so you put the little device on your keys, phone, wallet, purse, whatever you need to keep track of. And then you can use the app and it will actually make the item ring so you can hear where it is in the room or wherever it is. And you know, if it's not ringing, then you can't hear it. Then it may not be in the room that you're in. If even it's under something or just lost behind something then you're going to hear that ring and be able to go and find it immediately. This is a really good thing because sometimes you just forget where something is. You go out of sight, out of mind with ADHD. Like you can't see it. So you just forget it's there. And then later you're trying to find it and you can't find it. And so this is just a way that you can go, Hey, you know, I can't find it right now. I'm going to go on my phone and see where it is. Now, the other thing is that's cool about it is you can go on the app on your computer or phone. And if you're far away, you're not near it at all. You're on vacation or something then you can actually go on the app there and then look to see where it's located and it will tell you where it is. And something else really great for ADHD is gonna be a declutter drop zone. Now, what this is, is if you're going through declutter and taking items out and you don't wanna just leave them in random places, like maybe you're taking it and leaving it right next to where you start decluttering and then you have this big pile of clutter right next to you, well, that's not very good. So what you wanna do is you have a place that you designate to take all the clutter that you have decluttered and leave it right there. Now, the cool thing about this is you automatically know that, hey, if I need to declutter something or I need to have a place for it, you can go and take it there. You don't wanna go and try to figure out, okay, where does this go? Where did I put that? You know, maybe you forgot where you put it and stuff. And so that makes it a lot harder to finish decluttering. But if you know it's all in this one place, then you can go by when you finish and gather up all your clutter and then take it and do whatever you want to with it, whether you're selling it, whether you're giving it away, whatever you want to do with it, but it gives you just an easy place to say, okay, this is a place where I'm going to do that. Now, the cool thing about this is you don't have to use it just one time. You can have the same place every time and go ahead and put like boxes or containers that you want to put the clutter in. So it's going to make it just more organized there. So it's not just like in a pile there. That's also a good thing to do. And the other cool thing about this is if you're doing the cutting over a certain number of days and you're like, hey, I want to get this done, but I'm not going to do it all in one day, then you have that decutter drop zone there. You can keep putting stuff there until you're done as well. So it's just going to make that process a lot more efficient and easier for you. And something else super important to do is to pick a place for everything in your home. Everything, every item in your home needs to have its own home somewhere in your home. And so you need to go around and figure out where does this thing look the best? Am I going to use it? Is it really good here? Is it out of style and I don't need it anymore? Is it something I have been meaning to throw away and now it's just taking up space here? Is it something I bought new and need a place for it now? And so you need to figure all of that out because if you don't have a place for it, like you said, I don't really think this goes anywhere in my home, then that might be a sign that you need to go ahead and declutter that thing. Now, if you do have something you're like, I really want this in my home, I got it, it's new, it's awesome. Then if you don't have any space, you need to figure out, okay, what do I need to get rid of? Now it's really easy if you're like replacing something, that's easy. But in some cases you're getting something new and you just don't have any idea what you wanna do with some old stuff that you have. So you need to make sure that everything has its own place in your home. This makes it a lot easier to actually declutter and organize things too. Because if you find something in some random place and you're like, hey, it doesn't go there, then you know, okay, I pick it up and I put it back in the place that actually goes. Now, if you don't have any type of place for it, then you might just put it down somewhere random and then you're gonna have trouble trying to find it again when you actually do need it. And so that's not a good way to go about this. So you wanna make sure that you figure out where does all this stuff go in my home? Do I need to just declutter some stuff? So this is gonna make it a lot easier when you go to actually organize your apartment or home because you know already that you can look around in your room and see, okay, that's missing in that spot that usually is. So let me go figure out where that thing is and you can take it and put it there. Now, the other thing is if you don't know like where you wanna put something, you can actually use labels or sticky notes to actually designate the area that you want certain things. So you can actually go through and put that thing there and look and see if it belongs there if it looks nice or anything, 
before and then you go back and take the sticky note up once you have decided okay this is where this thing goes i'm good i know that it goes there or if you want to have it permanently there you put an actual label on there to make it permanently so you can remember where that thing actually goes so either way it's going to be a good thing for you and here's something important to do because i do not want you to miss out i do have videos about how to make your whole home adhd friendly really simple hacks and it even goes room by room so check those videos out and one is here right now and you can start with the bedroom video